if I had to pick one piece of gear that was irreplaceable, I guess that would be one, would be the computer. Um, if I'm doing today's electronic music, um, now, um, when I first started, uh, there was really no computer involved with music, making music. Um, and so if I had to choose something from the past, I would say probably uh, the first synth that I started with was a Core MS-10 or a Pro One synthesizer. Synthesizer, basically, is, is, is irreplaceable. Even today, I would say synthesizer. Playing, playing an instrument definitely enhances the production process. Uh, I think it's good for a person that's making music to know something about making music um, uh, or playing an instrument it does help, uh, I believe. Not necessary. Um, uh, a lot of, uh, me for instance, I was able to, I, I played bass guitar, guitar uh, when I started keyboards, when I started making music um, and I think it definitely helped. Uh, my production uh, success or, uh, you know, the sound uh, of my music. Uh, but I, I, I have uh, disciples, so to speak, that didn't know how to play instruments and uh, that have, have definitely made a mark in history. So uh, I can't really say that, that you know, that this is a necessity. But um, to at least know what a scale is, and uh, I think kind of helps. What differs live performance from DJ sets? Uh, well, the, the first main difference is in the live performance, I'm playing my own music. Whereas DJ set, I'm playing mostly other people's music. Um, and um, so that that's to me the main and probably most important difference. I think the audience differs because also as well because the audience is at the same time c coming to hear in a live performance to hear me play my music whereas in a DJ performance um, they're not necessarily coming to hear me play all of my own music and, uh, and, and then also uh, a live performance allows me to demonstrate um, you know instruments that I may use in production uh, uh, you know, some of the, uh, actually see me uh, more or less create music, although it's usually music already released, but you can also see the, the, uh, the, the action that uh, is involved with uh, actually performing a, a track, uh, which is almost similar action that, that is used in the studio. Some of the same gear is on stage. And uh, whereas, you know, DJ is just, you know, kind of like playing music from other people again once again so uh, basically uh, I guess if I have my choice I like to play live more so than DJ with computer based setups and producers digging from the same sample library well I can't uh, I can sort of answer that question I'm not guilty of of digging out of the same sample library as everybody else, um, and and the difference for me is that is that although I do use computer, I do use uh, software programs. Uh, I tend to make my own sounds or design my own sounds, as opposed to, and that's one of the things that's kind of have proliferated with this new technology is that everybody, especially the, the young younger producers coming into the to the game now. Um, uh, tend to rely on pre, what we call preset or samples. Um, advocate more uh, creativity by designing your own sounds. And, um, and instead of digging through sample libraries. I would say don't be afraid to take chances. And, 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 and that also applies to like uh, designing your own sounds or making your own sounds. I mean, don't be afraid to try new things. And, and you know, uh, I think that the, the world can only benefit by, uh, by real creative minds.
as opposed to following what everybody else is doing.